Hello crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel. The old paper lady. And my name is Lori. So this is, we are going to find, finally get our signature sewed in this hair journal. Uh, what I did was uh, I took that mauve, if you can see the, the mauve uh, waxed yarn that I was talking about in the last video. And so what you want to do is uh, you want to kind of go three times the length of your page you measure three times the length and I did a little extra just to make sure that I didn't cut myself short so and then I went ahead off camera and I used that little um, book binder tool uh, that I showed in my video yesterday from uh, we are memory keepers which are now their name is we are makers I believe but uh, when I bought it, it still had the We Are Memory Makers on it. So uh, I got it from Amazon and I got the, this wax uh, thread from Amazon as well. I got a color pack. So I talked all about that yesterday. But then I went ahead off camera and I did the alter alternating, alternating uh, pink and cream lace before I sewed it into the journal so I thought it might be a little bit easier for me to go ahead and uh, fabric tack that down the before I sewed the journal together so what we're going to do is I've already got the holes poked here and here so you'll do a middle piece a middle hole and then you'll do you know, about a, about an inch or so from either end top or bottom and I've got made sure that all of your papers are upright and facing the way that they need to be before you sew your journal in and clamp your papers down. So what I did was uh, I took in my thumbs in the bin and scooched that up as close as I could to my cover and uh, clipped it. Then I alternated and clipped and alternated and alternated. And then when I got them all clipped in, I went back took my thumb and I stood it up and just tightened it up just a bit and I did clip it the clip flipped out of my hand and I chopped that piece right there but I think I can cover that up when I uh when I put my cover piece on that's why I didn't want to do that because see where you got your clips it would have been all on that bling part of that lace all right so we're going to start in the middle we're going to stick it through, pull it out. And I'm going to try my best to do Miss Gail Gustinelli proud on this sewing end of this signature. Because I've watched her do so many. And I may have got a big end, but that's okay. So I'm going to pull it out and we're going to leave us a string here. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go down to the bottom piece first try to get that work through if I can get it in there I may not have poked it all the way through be my luck no, that's okay we'll go back in here and we'll line it up with our little our awl and we'll just repoke the holes no problem at all so basically all we're doing is we're sewing in the stitch we're sewing in the signature so I'm going to pull that back through and I'm going to hold this piece over here to the side and we're doing uh, it's a three pamphlet stitch I believe is the actual terminology for what I'm doing here and the reason why you want to hold this piece this uh, untied piece hold it as tight as you can without tearing your paper because when you go back through here and that's why you want to get a um, uh, wax thread because it's a little easier to do that with and not go through the middle of your of your yarn of your thread so see because if you poke that and go through that and split that thread you're not going to be able to tighten it up it, it's not going to it's not going to tighten up and hold and uh, be able to hold your papers in there it'll be a loose loose signature so i'm going to repoke the holes through you can see here Make that a little bigger so I can get my needle through there. And so I'm coming back through from the outside. 
And I know I'm flip-flopping you all around here. There we go. That was a little difficult to get through there. And see, my uh, my needle end is just a hair big, I believe. All right. So now let's see what we got going on the outside. Can we tighten that up? I think we can. So if you can see, I can tighten and loosen this if I need to. See? And then we'll pull on the loose. Well, I got it pulled to me. You can't see nothing, can you? <laughs> All right. So if you see where that little string is there, I've got that loose end here. And we can tighten that up. We can tighten that bit up. So then I'm going to come down here. Go underneath this piece. Well, no. I'm sorry. I'm, no, I am doing it right, Arna. Yep. Yeah, we're going to go under that piece. Make sure that when you... And the reason why you go under this piece is so these are on opposite sides because if it's on opposite sides you can tighten it up and then you want to take and tie you a knot okay, we're going to tie us a knot there make sure that that's tight on the outside and tight on the inside see so then you can pull it and that'll be tight and your inside's tight so that way we know if we can pull it and tighten it up that way we know we didn't we didn't uh, go through the yarn and break the threads on it you don't want to pull it too tight because then it'll start breaking your papers so once we get that on there then we'll just take and we'll put another little we'll do another little knot and then i think i'm going to tie me a bow there for the time being because I don't know if I want to put charms on it or not and then that is our signature crafty friends I'm gonna leave a big bow to be honest just leave a big old bow there in the middle because at the moment I don't know if I want to put charms on it or not so and then we'll come back later if I decide to put charms on it untie the bow because it's got a knot in it and it's gonna hold my signature in there I don't think and now we can undo those bits. And I'm pretty sure that that is a three-hole pamphlet stitch is what, what we just did there. Pretty sure that's what that's called. Okay, and see, and it's already a little bit gatory math just because, you know, I've got that lump and bump lace there. Which, you know, that's fine. I'm not going to fool with these here. I'll put them up later. So I'm just going to put them off to the side. Put that over here out of my way. And uh, I did, uh, like I said, went ahead and pretty glued down with Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix, either one. Because it's not, uh, this is not a water-based glue. So, like I said, on these uh, thinner pages here, when I glued this down, I used that off-brand glue from the Dollar Tree, and it kind of seeped through the paper and then got on this paper, which is the thin, the thin 20-pound uh, paper. So you see what it did? So then I had to put a piece of lace there and glue and cover that up. But these, the rest of them, that's the only piece that I did that off-brand uh, dollar store. If you have this, it is not... Uh, made for thin paper don't use it on thin paper use the fabric tag because it has not got water in it so it won't cause your papers uh, to crinkle up and wrinkle up and I think it turned out good and it, it this glues uh, fairly quick and grabs really quick so I think I am gonna wind up switching over to just full-on fabric tag especially for journal making because you know like I said I uh, uh, printed this on 20 pound regular old printer paper just you know as a uh, fill in page because it was pink and I got that off of Etsy the, the solid backgrounds but see where we did this so yeah I think I think that's going to be good so yeah and this paper is that's why I said I wanted to try that Fabri-Tac or fabric fix either one i believe both of them are, are are about interchangeable i'm pretty sure of don't quote me on that but yeah both of them i'm pretty sure 
it says bonds fabrics lace glass leather wood trims on you know paper so i put the lace on the paper with it and it didn't you can't even tell it's on there i mean really you can't i love that so yes yes okay so now well we got our and see you can't even see that if you wanted to leave that i just want to put a uh, put a, a lace trim on it just to you know kind of strengthen it up a little bit and i probably should have went ahead and did a uh did a whole nother uh background in here to be honest with this because it is a thicker cardstock but i don't know with wear and tear of it i don't know if it's going to tear or not so i may not try to sell this i may just keep this myself or give it to someone that you know it makes me think of them it reminds me of them you know i hadn't most of the time when i make projects i sit in with somebody in mind and i'm like oh i think they'll love that and i think you know they'll like that and that's that's how i craft you know so i'll sit in with a with a project in mind for somebody for a birthday or some kind of holiday celebration easter whatnot you know whatever Alrighty, so I want to put this on. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and do this up. I think that that's going to go there. But right now, we'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Because that's, that's going to have to... It won't have to sit and dry long, but I, it's going to take a little longer than I want to. I just want to get some... I want to get the decorative bits in this thing and uh get it done so then we can have a walk through and i know i'm getting tired of looking at it and I'm, i know if i'm getting tired of looking at it with me making it i know you all are watching it so we just want to go on ahead and do that all right so i got pockets here and this is that little that little uh, ephemera pocket that i made the other day out of the cover in the envelope where we wrapped the paper around I did go on ahead and bling it up a little bit. And I finally did get that tag to go on down in there and got that piece opened up. So what I did was, you know, I glued this so you can have a little tuck spot here with the tag on the tag, which I thought, you know, was cute. So I went ahead and loaded it up with some ephemera bits. So whoever gets it or whoever would like it. And that was just a little leftover piece of lace trim I put on there so I thought about putting it on the front maybe not the front because that's already heavy with that uh, with that lace bit there so then I did uh, so then I've got this pocket as well that I fixed up off camera because you know I was I was like I'm bored on the desk making all this ephemera bits and Bob so and it opens up so my intent was and I got this and something else, and I just saved it. So my tin is, is you know, you can write on that. But I want to take and whatever pieces that I had pulled aside to go in this journal, that if uh, I do not wind up using them to actually decorate the journal with, then uh, whoever gets it, I'm gonna add put all the like the little the little bits, the little tickets and such like that, and extra little tags inside of this and that'll be a ephemera holder as well have one in the front and have one in the back i think that would just be a good little idea and i may do that for uh i may start doing that and that you know for all of my journals have you know like a like an ephemera packet with extra little bits and and all of these are little journal cards that came with the kit that you know you can uh, decorate and have extra storage for your little bits and bobs and such. I think that's a good little idea. So we're gonna put, I made these pockets off camera earlier today. And it's basically, it's cut off from this where I made the cover. So that's my thing. It's like, you know, when I do, uh, do a project, I don't really like to have a whole lot of scraps left. And whatever scraps I do cut off from my scrapbook and papers because you know they're pretty and I, I, it hurts my whole it hurts my heart and my soul to cut up a pretty paper and not use the whole bit you know so some some of my stuff you know it probably will be like you know oh she's used the same crap over and over over and over and I was like but 
you know what if i cut that pretty piece of paper i'm going to use every inch of it that i possibly can in my project because it's so pretty you can't you don't want to waste it in which you know we save scraps and we'll do a collage bit here and there and what have you but i'm not used to that you know i'm used to when i make a project i use every inch of paper that you know that i cut I got a I got a piece of paper and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna put it down, make something out of it. Okay, so then I'm gonna scooch that up because I know I'm about to put a fat piece of ephemera box in that. And see in that fabric tack that holds down and I tell you what that that sure does grab. So I like that. I like that quite a bit. So what I'm doing is I'm just running my bone folder in here. Just trying to make sure that, you know, it's going to catch, but I got room enough to put that ephemera pocket piece in here because that's, this is where I want it. I want it on the back because I don't want it on the front with all that extra weight on there already. So I'm taking, that's a little trick I learned along the way of just, you know, crafting if you want to put a pocket on something. And most of the time you don't want it to pucker up that much. You, you really don't because your stuff will fall out. But, you know, this is some like a little fat piece of ephemera piece. So we're just going to stick that right in there. And i got to allow for the bling bling on it. See, there we go. That's perfect. Love it. All right, so that's that piece. And I'm gonna let the, you know, I'll put the pockets through, and like I said, this fabric tack grabs pretty quickly, apparently. I've not really used it a whole lot other than just, you know, putting lace down, because I just thought it was, you know, just just for, uh, just because it says fabric tack. I just thought it was just for fabric, but, you know, I was doing a little bit of research, and because uh, I was like, I just want, where well, I don't have to buy, like, you know, this glue for this and that glue for that and have this glue for that because, you know, the glue is not cheap. It, it gets a little costly. And then, you know, I want something where I, if I work with a thin paper or a thick paper or if I work with lace and I love uh, to, to take the little, uh, what is it, the wood uh, veneer pieces, the little thin pieces that, that we used to be so popular uh, a few years ago. I love to take that stuff and uh, put some uh, put some colored uh, distress ink around it and put that on projects as well. All right, so let's get our paper down, get this down, cause it's gonna grab. I mean, it'll grab pretty quick as soon as you put it on there. That's why I like it. So. But it, it, it does tend to get on you. It has a little bit of a smell. Not too bad. Just want to be fully transparent with you. It does have just a little bit of an odor. But not not where it, I don't think it will knock you out. If you, you, know, you don't have, a, have too much of a ventilated area that you're working in. You, know, you ain't going to have to sit and have an oxygen mask on to work with it. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and I was like well I didn't really smell it at first but which you know I, I was having allergy attacks and such and my nose is probably a little a little clogged at the moment but yeah so see I'm just making sure you know that I got room for this ephemera pocket and seeing that one's not filled with nothing at the moment and that's where I want that to live because it said it, it wanted to be there I just think that's going to be pretty. So I'll have that one in the front. And now, like I said, any little uh, extra bits and pieces. Where is my tags and such? So I've got, you know, like little little tags. If I don't use that anywhere or journal cards, that may be a little bit too big. And But, yeah, the little, the little fine-tuning bits like these. You know, we can stick that in that and fold it up. And then that'll be a little happy surprise for somebody. When they get the journal on there, and they want to, they want to open it up and see what everything is in it. So there we go. And I'm going to lay this over to the side, just for the moment, because what I want to do is just go through and uh, put 
pockets and tuck spots in and then go back and put uh, put tags and journal cards and such in there. And I had it all separated out in the, the pockets and the tuck pieces and I got the tag and journal journal card pieces over here and bits of ephemera so if we don't use them then we'll uh we'll take and put them in that little bit there for whoever i decide i'm going to give it to or somebody wants to be like oh that's just so pretty will you let me let me buy it hey of course i will just let me know you can contact me through my email which is attached to my channel Alrighty, so that's a thin piece. I really don't want to do that. And that's kind of matchy-matchy. So let's see what we got here. Alright, so you can write on this. Pretty much, I, and you know, in the journal I wanted it to where you could write on everything. You know, some of the papers were you can't really write right. You know, like I don't want to put nothing on that. You don't need to. Paper's just pretty enough. But you can write on the back of it. So I don't want to put no... You know, take up all the room space. Okay, so let's start working on the front half. Quit babbling. All right, so that's already got something on it. This piece has got a piece of lace on it. What do you think? Let's put this over here. Ooh, I think that'd be pretty across from that. I really do. And you can still write on this piece and you can write around that and then i'm going to put a little journal card in behind there and uh you can write on that as well and i'm going to use mr tim holtz's scissors which are now my fabric scissors because i'll tell you what while i was cutting that lace where i cut paper with these scissors the other day they are dull as everything and i think it's got a little divot in it right in here where i cut that uh where i cut these beads so, yeah, I messed them up. So now, you know, those will be deemed for fabric or not paper scissors as well. But Mr. Tim Holtz, good sharp scissors. Good book weight as well. Use what you got, people. Use what you got. So then I'm going to take in the, with the belly band. You're just going to glue the top and bottom. And we're going to take and put a little bead of glue at the top and the bottom of that. Hope that it fits the page just kind of perfectly and I'm going to put a little put it down and put just a little pinch on it so I can get me a journal card in it alrighty so let's see in here like oh yeah that would be pretty in there and you want to come from this way see love that which you know I got some laced up blamed up journal cards and bits so i just want to give you a little idea about what what i was intending there okay so then i'm gonna flip this page back over and make sure my glue didn't seep out from the bottom it did just a little bit so we'll clean that up That's the thing with the belly bands is you'll glue them close to the edge and it may, may seep out on the other pages and glue, glue all your stuff together. I think that's seeping out from that pocket. Alrighty. So there we go. Belly band down. Alright, so then let's go into the back opposite of that. Which would be try to even up the weight is what I'm wanting to do. So I think I did on the back of that. Yep. All right. So, and I'm gonna take keep my bone folder in the spot up here just so I know where I was in the front, just to help me keep track. So I did a belly band on that one. So then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna do belly band back here. And I think I'm going to run a strip up a little higher so that I don't have to worry about checking for glue seepage and all of that. And that belly band stiffened up on me. Okay. So we're just going to run a bead of glue across the bottom here. And the reason, the biggest reason why I wanted to do the Fabri-Tac on this is because, like I said, it is the thinner 
little bit, some of the pages are the thinner scrapbook and some of it is just that where I had printed that uh, pink off of my, uh, onto the, uh, into the regular old everyday 20 pound printer paper. And I wanted to make sure that it did not leave glue marks on the back side. Track it up. Yeah. Yeah, see? There we go. Make sure that's on there. All right, so then I'll put your journal card underneath that as well. And I know some some of you ladies, you know, and fellas, uh, crafty friends of mine, you know, find my channel. You you may think, you know, that I'm just being a, a little bit overly telling you what what it's for and what I'm doing. But you know, it's it's helpful to it was helpful to me in the beginning to watch someone that's like I'm doing this because this is why, or I'm using this glue for this paper for this reason. Now, most of your uh, people that I was watching, you know, they would say it sometime, but not every time. And, you know, I may, I may do a little bit overboard with that. All right. So, this here is got this lacy bit on it. And I thought about, even though it's going to cover up a little bit on the lace, I thought about sticking that pocket there. Because, you know, I like the lacy bits together. And then you can't write on that. So, you might as well, you know, cover the front of it up. That was my thinking. And this is, a, you know, the other half of that covered envelope that we made that ephemera pack out of. And I just covered it with a piece of scrap from the scrapbook paper that I used. And put a lace, uh, lace bit on it. That was a leftover scrap because I cut the lace too long because I intended to do something with it and then change my mind. We're just going to do in a U shape and most of the time I'll put my thumb where I don't want to glue just to remind me that that hey don't glue there. And I'm just going to put this right here and I know I'm that's why I wanted to put my lace down first because I knew my, my pages were five inch five and a half inches or five inches across that I was going to need to uh, I was going going to need on some of these pages that are a little busy and you can't write on them I was going to use them to put my decorative bits I'm going to try to get some of that glue up before I turn the page and it sticks to all of it and it'll all be stuck together. I heavy handed that glue. And the paper towel is your friend to a point. Then when it gets so sticky, you don't want to paper towel it because it'll, uh, it'll pull it back off. And then see where this is in the bend. So that's fine. We'll just do that and put a little Make sure that it's glued down. And that's why a lot of the crafters that I watch and journal makers and paper crafters, they use, uh, they use that, uh, that other glue. What is it? Now that I'm yapping, I can't think of it. And see, that's a little bit wide for that. But anyways, you know, we can fill a pocket up with a few tags and journal cards and bits and smush that, smush that top in as much as we can. So it'll pucker up and we can put some stuff in it. I think that bit's down. All right, so we'll put this here so we remember where we're at. So we'll flip over in the back. And then see this piece is here. So I really don't want to uh, put anything on that. Because, you know, I don't want to cover that part up. So I do want to put this here. Let's put it, well, if I do that, it's still going to have lace there. And see, you can get into your journal bit here. But I wanted that to be a side tuck. Well, I can still put it as a, as a top tuck. You know, you still have your journal card bit that you can pull out here like that. Yep. And then you put that down. 
glue it down and make a make a tuck spot at the top. There we go. Thanks for uh, allowing me to figure that out. So like I said, you know, a lot of these pieces I had already in mind intended on what I was going to do with them. And then like I said, when I got to putting them in, in the journal, it may be different from what I had deemed that I wanted to do. And sometimes that happens just because, you know, of placement and surrounding pieces or whatever. And I know you can write on this page, but that's why I'm adding, you know, the the tuck spot here so it'll have journal bits and journal cards and a tag and such in it so you can use it to write because you know that's pretty I didn't want to use that up which you could put I could run that down it but no that's that's too much too much too much too much all right there we go so yeah see we can use this you know tuck spot with it all right so let's flip back to the front let's figure out what else we want to do where's the middle there's the middle Ooh, I lost my spot back here let's put my journal move my journal card so I can keep it where I've decorated something and I didn't really have you know a whole lot to put on here now see this I want to do Let's see which way we need to turn these. All right. These need to go this way, I think. Nope, these need to go on this side of the page in the back. So that needs to be on the opposite side of the pages. This we can put here. Yes, we can. Oh, isn't that going to be pretty, pretty, pretty? I like that. Okay, so we'll put that there. And we'll put us a little big old journal card because I'm just going to take and glue this in an L shape like I had uh, said in an earlier video when I made it and blend it up. I'm just going to put it in an L shape so then that way you don't have, you know, so many just one size of item that you can put in it basically. And I'm going to put it as close to the edge of the page as I can. Yeah, I like that fabric tag. It's, it's, it's grabbing good. So what did I do with my journal card bit that I wanted to put in there? Here it is, where we blend up the butterfly wings. Oh, yes. Shut your mouth. Look at that. I love it. Okay, quit quit admiring your work, lady. I know, I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's tickling me, to, it's tickling me pink. <laughs> fun, fun. All right, so we'll, let's see. All righty. Now I need to go back over here. What did I do? I just turned the page and stuck up something on the other side, didn't I? Well, let's do the same over here. Heck with it. Because I don't want so much weight in the middle, to be quite frank with you. And then I've got, there's one place up here. And I don't want to use up all of the spaces. But like this piece here, you can write on this. And on this, I thought, you know, we could put this. Because I thought that was matchy-matchy. And the other one I could put on the other side. And I didn't leave that underneath the things long enough. But we'll fix it. And it's a vellum. That's what vellum does. And see, and then we can put this here. Because that kind of goes there. Let me go on ahead and do that before I forget my train of thought on that. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. You, I mean, it's just pretty. You can't, you can't fight it. Why try? All right. So then, here's the middle. So what we got going on here? All right. That matches that. So we'll put that there. And I wasn't in full on intending for that to be a belly band. It's going to be a small belly band because it's not the full length of the page. To be quite honest with you. So I may put that there. This piece. We'll kind of go with the uh, the other bits and bobs of the journal that I put together. So I may not use that. All right. So I've done that. That piece is going to go there. Where are we at? On the very opposite page. On the very back side of the page, aren't we? So that's going to go there. That'll go here. Because, see, I don't want to take up. 
you know, writing space. And that, that, which that's writing space as well. Yeah, so then uh, let's see. And this would work good here. And we can put that, we can put that as a tuck there. All right. And then on these two pages, I've got these little, uh, little tags that I made that I intended on having for tuck spots. So I'm just going to glue an L shape down it and have a tuck spot and got some little tags in them. I think that'll be better on that side just because the flowers on that side. And then this will be good here because the flowers on that side. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish gluing this stuff down off camera. Uh, I just wanted to come through and just do a, you know, I got the signature sewed in and show you that and the lacy bits glued on the side of the pages and show you a little bit of placement. So I'm going to finish this off camera, gluing, gluing in the bits and figuring out what journal cards and stuff that I want in here. And uh, I'll come back through and do just a, f a final finish. This is the walkthrough and this is where I put everything. So uh, with that being said, thanks so much for watching my video and clicking and joining me today and having a good old time with me admiring my own work. <laughs> I greatly appreciate you all. Uh, hope you enjoy yourself, enjoy your day, enjoy your family. Come back and yik yak and uh, let's have a good old time and get some crafting done. Thanks. Have a good night.